Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to fill in the non blank values uh, from the cell above. For example, in the data set that I have over here, there are some blank values here in between for uh, fifth Jan, sixth Jan values are blank. Now my requirement is that I want to fill in the same value as above in the next two cells over here, just like what you see over here 11.78, 11.78. However, again here the next cell is blank and I want to fill in the value that is above this particular cell which is 51.2 that is what has been filled out over here likewise over here. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. So guys before I start this tutorial I want to let you know that I have uploaded more than 100 tutorials on my YouTube channel which is MI Tutorials. Now these 100 plus tutorials are going to help you out with your real life problems when you're working with Power BI or if you have any queries you can refer to these 100 plus videos which are available on my channel and I continue to upload new videos every week. So please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any new tutorials. So since I have already created a column over here or a measure over here, I'm going to delete this and start from scratch so that you understand this better. And now I've deleted that and this is the data set that I have over here, order date, order ID and sum of sales. Okay. And here I have a, a measure which is created which is nothing but basically sum of the sales amount with, from my sales table. Okay. So now let's get started with this particular uh, tutorial. And the first thing that we will do here is we'll go over here and click on new measure. So once we are over here, uh, let's rename this to um, last non blank value okay is equals to i'm gonna you i'm gonna create a variable uh, over here so the first variable that i'm going to create here is called as var and let's identify what is the last non-blank date okay uh, last uh, date sorry last date is equals to okay and here we're going to use the calculate function i'm going to say calculate max sorry max of order date from my sales table i'm going to close the bracket here comma and then i'm going to go here to the new line let's go to the new line over here and type in filter and i'm going to say all i want all the records from my sales table i don't even if there is any filter i want to exclude that filter and consider all the uh, rows that are available in my table. So I'm going to say all of my sales table comma and then I'm going to say my sales table order date is less than or equals to max of sales table order date. Okay, so this is one of the condition. I'm, now I'm going to include another condition because we just don't want to identify the max date and but we also want to we want to identify wherever there is a blank value this is very important right so we need to add another condition over here and say and use double ampersand over here and say my table uh, sales okay is not equals to zero okay i'm going to close the bracket here once and close the bracket twice here and Let's go to the next line. So if you know the uh, DAX for the uh, for the measure where, where we've used the variable. So the next thing that we need to here enter here is return. So when I say return, let's type in last date. Okay. And press enter and see what happened. Okay. It is throwing an error over here because last date is apparently a reserve date. So I'm going to use an underscore over here just to get rid of the error and now press enter. So we've now calculating the what is the max date for wherever there is a blank value. So I'm going to bring in the last value that we created over here. So if you notice what is happening here is it is trying to identify what is the max date wherever there is blank value before the blank value it says four. So here this is the max date that is available. And for this value over here for the 9 Jan, the max state which is available, which is non blank is 51.2. Now we need to tweak this a little bit more to get the values instead of the date. Okay, so I'm going to delete the return part over here. Let me move this uh, over here so that you can read this better. Okay, now what we need is return, uh, return, calculate my sales amount 
this is the measure that I've created. It's called sales. Okay. And now I'm going to say comma filter all of my sales table comma where my ordered sorry sales table order date is equals to the last date variable that we have created then you have to close the bracket twice and press enter let's see what happens now so we're now seeing values here which are being repeated basically getting filled from the last non-blank value likewise you see here uh, over here you see the non-blank value just being filled with the value which is above that particular row over here which is the previous date right now this is the way you can use the measure to bring in the last non-blank value in the power bi there are different ways as well you can also go to your uh, uh, power query and uh, there's a fill option which is available you can use that as well but if you do not want to make any changes into your database and want to create a measure to fill in the last non-blank value this is how you can do it so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials